Praise God. Welcome back to Truth Dealer Radio, where no matter what time zone you're in, it's truth o'clock. And I'm Brian Moon, and praise God, and, and uh, I am glad to be back here for another episode of Truth Dealer Radio. The Word of God is the truth we're talking about when we say it's truth o'clock. It's the Word, okay? And Hebrews 4.12 says, For the Word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Hebrews 4.12. Praise God. And we know that to be true every day, every minute of the day. That's why no matter where you are, when you're listening to the show, it's truth o'clock, because the show is based on God's word. Amen? The Lord Jesus Christ, faith in him alone. Now, Today we're going to be talking about fear and fear not. Unless you're lost, you have to fear the Lord in a different way. Um, this goes without saying, but we're going to talk about that. But to start off, obviously, um, everybody is aware. First of all, I'm aware. Uh, we're in the middle of a lockdown in New York State. So I understand, I know. I need a haircut, <laughs> and by the time the lockdown is over, I'm going to look like Frisco Jones. Um, if you don't know who that is, that's good. But um, here we are. Um, our lives have been infringed upon by the government, according to them, for our own good, so we can avoid the virus. So we're all waiting to see what's going to happen, aren't we? Um, my business is still there online, kjvprepper.com. That's the sponsor of this show. And one day at a time with the Lord. Uh, there's so much going on. There's so many different theories about why this is happening and why that is happening. And that's fine. Um, pay attention. Watch and pray. And the ultimate thing is trust in the Lord Jesus Christ with all your heart, with all your might, with all your mind, body, soul, and spirit, okay? So use this time to draw closer to the Lord. That's what we're trying to do. Um, spend time in the Word together as a family, more time. We should obviously be doing that anyway, but, you know, this is a time for us to examine. This is a time for us to step back and... It's not a time for us to fear. Uh, so let's get into the scriptures here. Genesis 3.10. And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. Obviously, that's Adam. And that was the first mention I could find in the Bible of fear of a person being afraid. Obviously, he was the first man to live, and he sinned against God. So fear comes primarily by lack of faith and by sin and by disobedience to God. When we have the most confidence and the most faith in the Lord, walking in the light, following Jesus himself, abiding in Christ, all those things, the way they fit together. And, and we you could say your faith is at a is at a strong point, right? This is when fear doesn't touch us, right? It's when we get away, when we veer off the path into sin or just lack of faith, which is sin. Only by faith can you please the Lord. And anything that is not of faith is sin. So when we depart from that and we start getting our eyes off the Lord and we start looking at the stormy waves all around us, then we're going to fear, okay? We're going to sink down like Peter did. And we'll have to cry out, Lord, save me. So this is what it's tied in with, and I'm not trying to come down on people who do fear. People have issues with anxiety. People do have fears and I'm just trying to point you to the Lord, okay? If you need, it, God will show you. God will check you. If you need to repent, you you can repent. Psalm 56, 3. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. 
In God, I will praise his word. In God, I have put my trust. I will not fear what flesh can do unto me. Praise God, okay? So trusting in God is the ultimate way to avoid fear. Amen? We don't fear when we're putting our trust in the Lord. When we're in God, in Christ, and relying on him, amen, and and resting. Jesus said, all you that are uh, weary and heavy laden, come unto me and I will give you rest unto your souls, right? Rest in Christ. Cease from all the anxiety and the worrying. Okay, it doesn't matter. Really good advice is to turn off the fake news. Okay, it's, it's one thing to pay attention, but most of the news sources right now, as we know, are not legit. So find some good news sources. Find out, pay attention. Like I said, prepare for things. And we can do all that while we trust in Christ. We can't get our... What I'm saying is our focus cannot turn to the storm, so to speak. Our focus has to be on Christ and what his purpose is in all this. His purpose is for us to use these times and these events to wake people up, to preach, to share gospel tracts with people, amen, to go to our neighbors and help them in ways they need help. Make sure they know we're here for you if you need anything during this during this time, this pandemic and all that, or whatever may, whatever's going on that certain day of the week or the year okay because these times are going to get worse this may pass and get back to normal and we might have you know some new draconian laws patriot act style laws i don't know what's going to come of this and it might go back for a while to and then boom something else might happen or (laughs) we might be closer than we think we could be very very close to the lord coming back anytime. I mean, I know we're getting, every day is closer. And the signs are all around. We've had hundreds of earthquakes in the last few uh, weeks that were above 5.0 here in America. Something's going on. And there's a lot of theories about that. People think this and think that. But Jesus said the earthquakes were going to increase by However you want to analyze it or not, they're happening. They're happening. Praise God. So Bible prophecy is being fulfilled. There's all kinds of stuff. I did a show a few weeks ago about Israel. They're going to, they want to sacrifice a lamb on the Temple Mount for the first time in almost 2,000 years. Since the destruction of the second temple, uh, since the destruction in 70 AD of the temple. So wake up. I mean, this is happening in our lifetime. It's, it's exciting and, you know, it should just encourage us to press toward the mark. Press on every day. And like I said, don't let these opportunities go to waste. Okay, there's people that are lost that need Jesus. They need to know the truth. And let's continue on, okay? Psalm 91, I know many of you know this. Some people even have this memorized. I wish I had it memorized, but Psalm 91, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God. In him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and thy buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes thou shalt behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, 
neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. And, you know, there's so many promises right there to cling to. Amen. And we're going to cling to those. And when we come back, we're going to read some more Bible verses. I'm recording a podcast at the same time. And I'm also doing a video. So I'd just like to say thanks for listening. But, you know, these times are getting hot. Praise God. Welcome back. Uh, right now, we are having a sale, a site-wide sale, 25% off everything. It's a spring clearance sale, kjvprepper.com. That's the sponsor of this show. That is where I make um, Christian hats, shirts, hoodies, jackets, all kinds of things. Amen. So if that's what you're interested in and you would like to spread the word in that way, on top of everything else, we also have gospel tracks. You can buy a huge thousand packs of them now and... It's, it's a great way to get the word out. Amen. Praise God. Thank you so much. Um, moving on here, we're just going to keep going through the scriptures for encouragement. Amen. For, for To feed our soul on God's truth, the living water, the living bread. Jesus Christ is with us every day. Amen. We can go to this truth and feed off his word every day. Praise God. Deuteronomy 7.21, Thou shalt not be affrighted at them, for the Lord thy God is among you, a mighty God and terrible. Whoo! Mighty. He's mighty. <laughs> He's got this. He's got this in the palm of his hand. None of this schemes, whatever it's going on, whether it's a pandemic or it's a deep state New World Order scheme to, you know, I know about ID 2020. I did a show about that. Uh, on the uh, you can go on truthdealer-radio.com. All the episodes are archived. Okay, the mark of the beast, the chip, and all that. None of that is a surprise to God. In fact, it is written. He knows what the devil is going to try and do, and he's going to thwart it in the end. The wicked will be destroyed, like it said in Psalm 91. We're going to witness their destruction. What they meant for evil, God meant it for good. He's going to prove out. He's going to, like when the gold goes through the fire, amen? First Peter 1 Peter 1.7 says, That the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. And Job 23 verse 10 but he knoweth the way that i take when he hath tried me i shall come forth as gold these events these trials and tribulations are going to strengthen and purify the bride of christ the body of christ it's coming soon all right these events have to take place for our growth and you know it's just strengthening our faith don't let the don't numb yourself to it. Don't just think, well, you know, it's nothing. It's really not nothing. We're inching closer and closer. These times, these are the end times. Deuteronomy 31, verse 6, Be strong and of a good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he it is that doth go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Praise God. Matthew 10, 28 through 31. And fear not them which kill the body. Wait, let me go back. That's too good to... I just want to read that again. Deuteronomy 31, 6. Be strong and of a good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he it is that doth go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Okay? And we understand the context there going into the land and God was driving out the enemies and protecting his people and everything. That applies to everything we ever do. That verse, Jesus reinstituted that. He said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. It's recounted in the New Testament. Praise God. So this this promise is is for all of God's children. Amen. This promise is 
strong today as it was when Moses spoke this to Israel. He will not fail. He will not forsake his children. Amen. And he does not leave. He's with us. Matthew 10, 28 through 31. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. Don't fear these little people in their little labs in the Fort Detrick or Wuhan or whatever with their little bio weapons and everything. Don't fear all these invisible pestilences that walk around in the darkness, things that are invisible in the in the powers and principalities, 5G, whatever it is that they're doing. Don't fear. This is the message. Don't fear. And don't get too caught up in it, okay? This is what we need to promote to the world, to the lost, to our families, to our neighbors. Christ and him crucified, okay? The whole world is going to hell in a handbasket. We understand it. There's going to be earthquakes, famines, wars, rumors of wars. There's going to be all these things. The poor are not going to leave us. There's going to be things going on until Jesus comes back. So that's to be encouraged. Don't get caught up. Just preach the word in season and out of season and let God use your faithfulness. And like I said at the beginning, if you're fearful and you're double-minded, you're in sin or you're just not in God's will, you will not be used the same way and you might be fearful. You might also get deceived. So be watching out. There's a lot of deceivers in this day and age. There's a lot of people on there saying they got coded intel and all kinds of different, you know, messages and whatnot. This is not coded. The Bible, God's word. Okay? And this doesn't have any disinfo in it. It's the truth. Amen? And God told us to go out forth with that truth. And that's really our only duty to the Lord as far as preaching. And all the other information can be relevant, but it cannot be the focus, right? Amen? Praise God. Fear not. Fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two, are not two sparrows sold for a farthing, and one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father? But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear ye not, therefore, ye are of more value than many sparrows. Contrary to Bernie and all the environmental communists, we are of more value than sparrows. Amen? We are of much more value. God placed us at the pinnacle of creation. And we have a soul that can be redeemed. Amen? We need to protect the environment and God's creation and give glory to God through that duty that we have. But as people that worship creation and everything else, they're getting it backwards and they're filled with fear all the time too because they're not fearing the Lord who made all things. Amen? 2 Timothy 1.7 For God hath not given us the spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Praise God. God has not given us the spirit of fear. So if you feel that spirit of fear around you or in someone else, help the person. Help yourself. Remind yourself. Remember what God hath done. Amen. Go back and remember what he hath done. Praise God. Deuteronomy 7, 18 says, Thou shalt not be afraid of them, but shalt well remember what the Lord thy God did unto Pharaoh and unto all Egypt. What did the Lord thy God do unto Pharaoh? He destroyed him. He buried him with his army in the Red Sea. And he delivered his people. Amen. He delivered his people. And they were still afraid, but God showed up. And delivered them on time. Amen. Praise Jesus. So we need to remember who our God is. That he is mighty and powerful. Amen. Mighty to save. Praise God. 
Psalm 20, verse 7, Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. Praise God. And Hebrews 13, 5 through 6, Let your conversation be without covetousness, and be content with such things as ye have. For he hath said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. Praise God. It's just what we were talking about a little while back. So that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Oh yeah, not fear. <laughs> we will not fear, okay? And as I said, you know, this doesn't mean we will not fear because everything's going to turn into a carnival and get happy. Okay, joy does not equate with physical happiness, okay? Just like beauty and meekness and all the beautiful things, the wonderful things, they do not equate with, you know, everything we can see. Beauty is skin deep, they say, but you see what I mean? Joy is something God uh, God gives us when we have peace with the Lord, amen? The joy of the Holy Spirit, the joy of Jesus Christ and nobody can take that away. Circumstances cannot take that away. And the devil would love for to steal your joy and to replace it with fear. But there's no faith in that. That's why the devil would love it. But Jesus said in John 15, 11, These things have I spoken unto you that my joy might remain in you. That my joy might remain in you. And that your joy might be full. Amen. Jesus wants to share his joy with us. He wants to proclaim that in our heart, no matter what's going on. Amen. Cast down those wicked imaginations. Amen. Take it to Jesus in prayer. This We have time right now, extra time for prayer. Amen. So we need to be about God's business and watch and pray. Um, 1 John 4, 13, there is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear, because fear hath torment. Fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. We can't grow in the knowledge and the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and grow our grow in our faith while we're fearful at the same time, right? That's kind of a no-brainer but we we all need these reminders i'm just trying to encourage you because we're we're getting ready to go through some strange times we've been we have been through some strange times here in america and all around the world right now i mean hundreds of countries are going through this lockdown it's a lot of uncertainty a lot of economic strange things going on people losing work a lot of death people dying in a short period of time. I mean, I understand you look at the numbers and people say, it's, a, it's not as bad, you know, it's, this happens every year with the flu. and It's a little more extreme, I would say, and the, especially for the doctors and nurses. Pray for them. I've been praying for them a lot, and especially, you know, in New York here, we're seemingly having a lot of a, lot of a hard time in New York City. So pray for them. And But I just wanted to encourage all of you that are saved to trust in the Lord and use this time to cast off the, the wicked imaginations of fear and the fake media, you know, and all the, even the alternative media. There's a lot of it that's just focused on getting you fearful, getting your eyes on all these plots and different things. And, and it's sucking time away from Jesus Christ and from his word and from just really living out our faith. As I said, I, I don't want to discourage you from knowing what's happening, but brethren, we need this time in the word. Amen. We need to review what the Lord has done. And boy, it's been a strange year for, for my family. I know that. My brother passed away. And then um, now my mother is in lockdown at her assisted living place and we're all like you know social distancing and everything is it's also a blessing because it gives us more time together and more time in the word 
together and more time to just be together. So I pray that that will be a blessing for for all of God's children. Um, there's other strange things going on. People are being persecuted for gathering together in, in church and different things like that. You know my feelings a little bit about that. When you when you start a church in America, you have what's called tax immunity. They can't tax you. But then when they sign the 501c3, my understanding is that they're exchanging it for something called tax exempt. And it becomes a, a corporation. They're incorporated. And so the state, the government is in control of that. So that's not good. So in some ways, what's happening now can purge some of that out and wake some pastors up. And I pray they will wake up and realize, we shouldn't have signed that. We need to get out of this. We need to undo this because Christ is the head. Lord willing, if they're led by the Holy Spirit, maybe that's what they'll do. But for the time being, they're getting to see that gathering in small groups and homes is also not terrible. God can use that too as he always has. Amen. I just want to thank you for listening. God bless you all. Be strong. Tune in again next time, please. Be strong. God bless you. Truth Dealer Radio. No matter what time zone you're in, it's Truth O'Clock. TruthDealerRadio.com. You keep talking about Jesus. Some folks out there just might be listening.